So we can reason about multiplication and division without actually ever needing a calculator by just applying the rules of math. We're given this template format, 13 times 17 equals 221. Now in the following expressions, we see a combination of those same values, but now there may be extra zeros or decimals involved. And so we want to reason about what the correct answer should be without needing a calculator. So when we look at this first one, 13 times 1.7, or 1 and 7 tenths. The rule with multiplication is I see that my numbers are the same, so I should have the same digits in my answer. So I'm going to have a 221. But when multiplying, the, you multiply your numbers as they appear, ignoring your decimals, and then after you've gotten 13 times 17, 221, you count up the number of decimal places in your problem, and that's how many decimal places you need to include in your answer. I had one decimal place in my problem, so that means I need to have one decimal place in my answer. So 22 and 1 tenth would be your correct solution there. Here, we have a 13 and 17 again, but now there's a zero on the 13. Whenever there is a zero at the end of the number that you're multiplying with, that means you have a zero on the end of your product. So if I take 13 and 17 and I multiply them together, I get 221, but there was also another zero in there, so I add a zero there. So 2,210 is my solution. Here I have 13 and 17, so I know I need the 221, but it wasn't just a 17, it was 1,700. So I have two zeros at the end in this problem, so I need two zeros at the end in the answer, making it 22,100. Here I have 13 and 17, so I go 221. Then I count the number of decimal places total in my problem. I have one here and one here for a total of two in my answer. So when I move to the left, two places, that places the decimal in between the two twos, and I get two and 21 hundredths. Now over here, now they're switching it around. Our product is now our dividend. So the value that we're trying to divide out of, how many times can I take 13 out of 2,210? Well, I can take 13 out of 221 17 times, because 13 times 17 equals 221. But there was an extra zero on this. So the 221 divided by 13 is 17. But if I have a zero there, I get to have a zero in the quotient. Here, I have the 221 divided by 17 to get the 13, but there were two zeros in my problem, so I need two in my answer when dividing it out. And here, we see that we have a decimal in, at, in the divisor. The rule when dividing with decimals is you cannot have a decimal in the divisor. It has to go away. So how do we do that? Well, we just move the decimal over, back one place, so that I now have a 13, but what I do to the divisor, I have to do to the dividend. So I have my decimal currently here on this number. I move it back one place and fill in that blank with a zero. I now have 2,210 divided by 13, which we did up here. So our solution is going to be the same. So that's the most critical thing to know. You cannot divide by a decimal. You can divide into a number with a decimal, but the number doing the dividing work can't have a decimal in it. So we just clear it out by moving the decimal place over.